Hi everybody, I'm Greg from Kyback Tech Support. Uh, we're making you guys a uh, video today uh, to address the float shutoff in our uh, no-touch cleaning machines and in our OmniFlex units. Uh, you may be vacuuming uh, and all of a sudden you lose your suction. Uh, most of the time you can hear it, but there is a... Uh, uh, all our units have this float shutoff. It is uh, it's basically a, a cylinder with a ball inside of it. So um, it could be caused from a couple of things. Um, your, the vacuum tank is full. Uh, once the water gets up to the bottom of this, uh, it should engage the ball and cut the suction off to protect your vacuum motor uh, to keep moisture from getting in there and causing any damage. Uh, the other thing that can cause that is a dirty cage. Uh, if uh, about 25% or more of this cage is covered with dirt, uh, the ball will engage uh, even with the tank empty. So it's real important to um, clean it. The best way to clean it is after each use, just take your gun, uh, turn on your pump, and just spray it off. You know, that's going to take off while the dirt is fresh. Um, and and just, just spray it off with some water. That will, uh, that, that's usually all you have to do. If, if you've forgotten or the dirt uh, has gotten really bad, you may need to remove it and do a little more aggressive cleaning. Um, it's just screwed in, regular regular threads. So it comes out uh, just counterclockwise to remove it. Um, once you got it out, you may need to, to let it soak, depending on what the dirt is. Uh, may need to let it soak and then take a, a brush to it, but really needs to be as clean as possible. Um, and like I said, if you, if you clean it, every single day or after each use just a quick spray is usually all you need to do um, and then it just goes back in just clockwise uh, now that applies to all the no-touch cleaning machines the float shutoff is pretty much the same design um, now another way besides dirt and your water being too high this is it's actually designed to be sensitive to foam uh, we found that that foam can cause just as much damage to your vac uh, motor so let's say you just started vacuuming and you got very little water in there and you hear your float ball go your, your cage is clean come back to your tank and look in there chances are you're going to have a lot of foam in there um, if you're using our, our Kyvac brand chemicals, they're, they're low sudsing chemicals, so usually it's not an issue, but you never know. Uh, could be a, a kid getting crazy with a, a soap dispenser, hand soap dispenser. Um, so you get all that extra soap in there and you'll get a lot of foam. If that's the case, you need to address that. Um, there's a few different things out there that you can use. Um, Bubble Buster is one that comes to mind. Most... Uh, uh, Janitor supply stores will carry um, that. Now, the same principle applies to this OmniFlex over here. It's really important that you keep this OmniFlex. It, the OmniFlex is actually seems to be a little bit more sensitive, but you really need to make sure it's clean. So, after each use, um, you want to just just unplug your vacuum either from the extension cord or if you got the pump box, unplug it. Undo your uh, your little uh, clamps here. And just take it to a slop sink and really spray that down after each uh, use. Now, if it does get really bad or somebody forgets to do that and, and then lets it set and, and all the dirt is caked on here, um, you, can, you can take this and e either soak it in something uh, to soften it up and then hit it with a brush. Worst case scenario, you've got a screw here, uh, another one here. You take those two screws off and this will, will come off and you can actually take the, uh, the float cage out and clean it uh, outside of it and then put it back in. Don't run uh, any of our machines without the float shutoff because you can really 
do some damage uh, to your vac motor without it on there. So um, again, keep it clean. That seems to be the best uh, way to address it. Um, if you're cleaning it after each use, it's really simple just to do a quick spray. But if you've got to take it out and clean it, um, it's really not that difficult to do. So, all right. Um, so we got our, our, our Omniflex backhead over here at the slop sink. I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, just turn your water on. And really the only key here is you want to spray downward uh, on the, on the uh, cage. You don't want to spray up then your uh, water will get up into your vacuum head. So make sure you're kind of holding it down at an angle. Try to get it as best you can. Um, like I said, if, if it's really bad, you may need to remove the cage and clean it with a brush. Uh, but uh, once you've uh, got that cleaned, uh, you're ready to put it back on and ready for the next time. So again, it's just a whole lot easier to do that each time. It takes 20-30 seconds, spray it down, uh, put it back on your Omniflex unit, and you're ready to go.